Movie Geek 81 here, and I am your guide to the movies that you probably want to see but aren't really sure if you should spend your money on it, or uh, to the movies that you want to see but do not want to admit. So I'm going to give you the reviews of the movies that I saw over the last two weeks. Uh, my first movie is uh, Straw Dogs, and this is a suspense thriller starring James Marsden and Kate Bosworth, who play a couple that goes to the south and they buy a house and James Marston is uh, writing a book out there and Kate Bosworth's uh, character actually is from this hometown so she's a little familiar of the people who are there and they come in contact with uh, people from her past who are there to um, fix their roof to their farmhouse but also uh, they provide like this really huge culture shock for the couple and it drives this couple to do things that they never thought um, possible to do in order to um, defend themselves in a time of need. And um, this movie apparently is a remake, which I was a little unaware of. The remake is actually uh, stars Dustin Hoffman, who plays the James Marsters character. And um, I gotta say that I really enjoyed this movie a lot. I thought um, this is one of the best thrillers that I've seen this year, um, next to Insidious. Uh, I was really surprised because I didn't really expect it to be this uh, good, in my opinion. Um, it's sort of a cross between The Strangers and Last House on the Left. Uh, um, it's in between because it's not completely suspenseful throughout the whole movie like Strangers was. And Last House on the Left, it's not as gory as that one. So it's really in the middle and it focuses a lot on the psychological side of it. You see James Marsden who's from Harvard drives a you know really nice car and he comes to this town and he's just um, put in front of a lot of tension and rage and anger and a lot of uh, people who don't really come from money and um, Day by day, you just watch him just sort of break down his inhibitions. He starts to get a little bit more um, mad himself, and he is uh, finds out that he's capable of doing things he never thought was possible, and that includes possible, you know, possibility murder. And um, I gotta say that it was really great acting from him. He gets my MVP um, for this movie because I've never seen him play a character like this before. And uh, there were some other great people in it. Uh, Alexander uh, Skarsgård, who is from the True Blood franchise. And James Woods, a veteran, who I thought was amazing in this movie as well. Uh, Kate Bosworth was believable, but um, to me she didn't really do as good as uh, the rest of the um, actors and actresses in this movie. Um, I expected a little bit more from Alexander's character, but um, it turns out they didn't really give him much to do. His character was more subtle, and he, um, I guess, portrayed his fear in more of his facial expressions as much as his voice. So if you watch True Blood, you know that he projects a lot and he looks a lot angrier, more cool and suave and whatnot. And in this one, he's a little bit calm, but he still packs a threat. Um, the writing was really good, I think. I love the flow of the movie. Um, I do recommend this movie, and um, I also would watch it again. It's a movie that I would like to show people that I know, um, just to kind of see their reaction from it. But I think it's a really good thriller, and it's something that we haven't seen in a while. So, just to be warned, though, there is some gore. It's not... Um, over the top, but you will see some gory stuff in this, so in case you're not a fan of that, maybe this one's not the one for you, but my final score as far as entertainment value, I give it a 5 out of 5. I thought it was great, and um, if you guys uh, want to see it, I suggest you go.